Now we're going to demonstrate how to replace the Smart Flow uh, cartridge on the storm water cooler. Uh, what you're going to get is a complete kit. Uh, it's going to come with the Smart, Smart Flow cartridge. You're going to get the new uh, bottle adapter. And then you also get a nice instruction sheet with the key that is used to open the top and then also a plug for the uh, Smart Flow uh, cartridge tube. Okay. We're going to start off at the bottom because uh, the first thing that we want to do is open up the bottle door. We want to slide the bottle out. And it's also handy to have a couple paper towels handy and a bucket and a glass. Okay. What we're going to do is open up the instruction manual and we're going to get the little red plug out. And we're going to try to minimize spills with this. What we're going to do is pull the hose off the uh, tank uh, adapter and we're going to put the plug in to minimize the spilling as we pull out the Smart Flow cartridge so we can let that go down. Now while we're down here, if we still had, if this was a good jug of water, uh, we could go ahead and replace the tank adapter or the bottled adapter. What I want to do is get this out and again, if I don't have gloves on, I want to make sure that I don't touch the tubing that's going to go down into the bottle of water. I'm going to get a hold of the cap. And then I also want to flex this over backwards to straighten that tube out because uh, it's going to have a little bit of memory from where it was in the packaging. I'm going to pull the old bottle adapter off. I can set that in my bucket. Put the new bottle adapter in and that's good to go. So what we're going to do is go ahead and leave the bottle out at this time. I'm going to close the door. And then we're going to go up top. Continuing on with changing the Smart Flow cartridge, what you want to do is set a glass under the spigots because you might have a little bit of water dribble out. Then what you're going to do is in the instruction manual that came with the cartridge, there's a little key. And what this is going to do is open the door to give you access to the top. There's two little holes right in the front that the key fits into and it inserts in all the way and pops open the door. Okay, now you have access to the uh, Smart Flow cartridge. Uh, you're going to squeeze the tab on the front blue latch to open it. And then you're going to turn your two twist knobs. And that's going to allow you to pull the cartridge completely up out of there. Now the bottle may have water in it, so make sure that you don't squeeze it or you're going to end up with a little bit of water on the floor. So we're going to pull that completely up out of there. We're also going to make sure that we pull the bottle tube all the way up and then we can discard this. Now I've got my new Smart Flow cartridge in the bag. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Get that out of the bag. Once I have that out of the bag, I'm going to go ahead and unwind the bottle tube. Now it's important that you feed the bottle tube back down through the cooler so that you have access to it down where the uh, bottle is located at. So I'm just going to feed that down in there. I want to make sure that it doesn't get caught. And all I have to do is insert the Smart Flow cartridge back into the compartment. Make sure that I push it down securely. I'm going to twist my two twist knobs to lock the cartridge in place. And I'm going to put the blue latch back down on the front over the bottle tube. That completes the installation of that. Then I'm going to go ahead and close the top door. And we're finished in the top. And now we need to go back down to the bottom. Now that we've finished installing the Smart Flow cartridge in the top, we need to go back down to the bottom, reinstall our bottle, and hook the bottle tube back up. So to do that, I'm going to open the bottle the door up. I have my new bottle tube down here from the new cartridge. I'm going to pull out the sanitary cap, dispose of that, install it on the tank of the bottle adapter, and then again I'm going to insert my bottle. Just like before, we want to make sure that we have the bottle tube installed in a manner that it's not going to catch on the door or anything when we close it. Once that's all installed properly and the tube's out of the way, I can go ahead and slide my bottle door down. And then we're finished installing the Smart Flow cartridge. 
Now that you've finished installing the new SmartFlow cartridge in the system, all you need to do is bleed the air out of it by priming the cold side and you're going to want to hold the cold lever down until you have a steady stream of water flowing out of the unit. Once you do that, the system is ready to be put back in service and for the customer to use.